Hey you guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm so excited about this video. I just fell in love with the look. So this is gonna be a wedding makeup tutorial. It's actually a collab with one of my YouTube friends, Miss Naya. You'll see her picture in a bit. But she did more of a daytime ceremony wedding makeup look and mine is more of a nighttime reception makeup look. So. Definitely keep on watching if you're interested in seeing how I achieved my look. Don't forget to head over to Miss Naya's video to see how she achieved hers. I will place her video link in my description. So yeah, go check that out, you guys. So let's get into this video. I already went ahead and primed my face using my Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. Now I am doing the brows and I'm using my L'Oreal eyebrow pencil. This is the Define Brow Pencil. I don't know, I'll have that in the description box for you guys. Clean up on aisle seven. I'm using my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer to clean up my eyebrows. And I'm just blending that out with my finger. Using that same concealer, I'm kind of, um, trying something different today using my concealer before my foundation just wanted to see how this worked out this is a wet and makeup look so I want it to look flawless darling so I'm trying something a little different to try to conceal my darkness I am gonna stick to my orange corrector around the mouth just because um, yeah I just wanted to <laughs> and I'm blending that out and I realized how crazy that looked Using the Beauty Blender, I blended that corrector out a little bit more. Then I went in with my favorite foundation, the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation. My shade is in Macau. And I am using my stippling brush by Real Techniques to blend that out. Going back in with that NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, I'm just Concealing my eyes a little bit more over top of the foundation this time going down the bridge of my nose my forehead I'm going to do the cupid's bow and my chin and then I'm going to blend with my beauty blender Setting the under eye with my Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm gonna bake today. I never really bake, but again, this is a wedding makeup look, so we gotta look snatched and right and everything. So, Mama gonna bake today. Went in with my Morphe palette, and I used that orange brown shade, and that's gonna be my transition for this look. I'm next gonna go in with a brown. Where are you, brown? There you go. I'm gonna go in with that brown and take it into my crease for some definition. Now this next shade doesn't quite show up well on camera, but it's more of a champagne brown shimmer type of color. So I'm applying that to my lid and I'm just packing that on. I went back into that brown just to kind of darken out, darken up the outer V of my eye a little bit more. And so yeah, that's what I'm doing right there. Went in and applied these La Flare eyelashes off camera because it just takes me way too long to apply lashes on camera. So again, they are lashes by La Flare. They're silk lashes and I just love them. I'm giving myself a little wing. I lined the eyes with a regular black liner and gave me just a little wing tail there. Went in with my L'Oreal Lumi to highlight my brow. Now I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to blend my natural lashes into the La Flair lashes. Wait, let me fix my hair. Fix my hair a little bit. And I'm dusting away that baking soda. I got baking soda. <laughs> Dusting away the Sasha Buttercup and something else that I rarely do, contouring the nose today because again, we gotta look right for wedding day. So I'm making my nose a little bit slimmer with this Black Radiance Concealer Stick. 
and then I'm going to go over top of that to set it with my Black Radiance face powder. Bam! Right there. There she go. Setting that concealer with the Black Radiance powder. Also going in to apply that to my cheeks to kind of sculpt them. I don't want a super harsh contour so I'm just lightly going over the cheekbone area with that powder. powder brush just to further blend out that black radiance powder then I'm going in with my elf palette using that darkest shade there for my blush dusting that onto my cheeks using my MAC mineralized skin finish and gold deposit I want it to glow on this very beautiful wedding day so I'm applying a good amount of that gold deposit to the cheekbones a little bit on the nose and I'm going in with this Stila Liquid lipstick, sorry, I had a lot of uh, liquid in my mouth just then. <laughs> Using this Stila Liquid Lipstick, this is the matte and it's by, um, I'm sorry, and the shade is Enrico. And I wanted to do a dark lip because again, this was an evening type of makeup look for a reception. So I wanted to kind of go dark on the lip and uh, I think it came out beautiful, you guys. I hope you agree. And that's it you guys, I'm spraying my face with my Maybelline Master Fix and that completes this wedding makeup look, this reception wedding makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is one of my favorite looks so far. It makes me want to get married again. I want to do over. I want to do over. Somebody tell my husband I want to do over just so I can do my makeup again. <laughs> But yeah, I really have fun with this look. It came out so beautiful. And don't forget to head over to Miss Naya's video. Click the link in my description box to find her look. She did a daytime wedding makeup look. So definitely go check out her video and subscribe while you're there to her channel. That's it, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel. Love yous. Bye.